I don't know if this blade is going to finish do this log. It was it's getting dull. So I know I'm near the end on this one. But let's see if it'll do one more. Log looks pretty doggone straight. <laughs> Well, he's stuck. I guess that's a good thing. That's a pretty thing.
I might get two four by sixes out of this. I don't know. We shall see. Let's crank her up. Go on through this thing. tell you what that blaze fooled me i believe what it was you know i thought i was the last log was going to be the last log but I, I know you can't tell on camera what i got right there is six inches i got six by eight flip it up i'm gonna get two four by sixes out of that follow that math eight inches cut in half four inches six inches anyway so i must have been thinking right in here but uh you know i was saying i thought that last log was the last log i'd get out of that blade well evidently it must have been because the lube wasn't on and it was sort of a dry blade sort of sticky all over the woods wet uh i don't know but Anyway, um, I 
Man, that's looking good. So, set that at four inches, four by six, four by six. At least that's the way my mask reads. Sweet. I mean, even the best at times will have things, I think, I think they will, I think they will. Give me a couple of Wamba sixes here. There's three good stickers. You never have too many stickers. Well, I mean, I guess you could, but I don't have too many. When I was a young fella, I was I had carried some trees to a saw, saw miller. He sawed up, made lumber for me. And uh, I didn't I didn't know any better. I wasn't trying to be rude or mean or get anything, but I just thought them stickers, you know, shoot. That's just waste wood. They just like laying around everywhere. So I asked the guy, I said, you mind if I take a few of them sticks right there? And uh, 
I could tell he wasn't really big on that. He said, how many you need? I said, I don't know, a couple of handfuls. Well, now that I'm milling my own stickers, I understand why he wasn't, didn't want to get rid of them. Them things hard to come by. So anyway, that's that. And this log produced two wonderful four by sixes, three one by sixes, and three one by eights. That's a pretty good cash cow right there. And they're pretty. I mean, them bad boys is right. One thing left well, to do Well, that's it them. for that last pine log. I tried to uh, abbreviate it and not bore you to death with it, but that was some, uh, that was fun milling, 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 saw milling, sawing that log into lumber. Uh, you know, when you got a good straight log like that, thing didn't have a knot in it, as you could probably see, just as clear as a bell. And I'm not so sure. Maybe some of you guys can, maybe some of you guys can comment on, on this. And, and but uh, it seems to me, I could be wrong, probably am, but it seems to me that pine, if it's been off the stump a while. You know, not too long, but if you if you cut it at the right time in the winter time, and uh, then you mill it six months later, it seems to me that the grain, the fibers of the wood have relaxed a bit, and it doesn't have the tendency to want to bow and twist and cup and all that other stuff. It seems to me that. Now, I've always heard that, you know, you want to cut mill pine just as soon as you get off the stump. But I don't know. I mean, this stuff here is just really, really stickering up nice. And it's just, just straight. And I'm just really impressed with it. So anyway, let me know in the comments what you think about that. And I appreciate you watching. Hey, you may have come here and watched as a stranger. Hope the next one you watch, you will consider yourself my friend.